Hi friends. Um, I've had an email from Florian who grew up with Anchor Hill, the mother in the Wilfred Wong kidnap stroke, abduction stroke, rescue uh, mission in Anglesey, which re resulted in just shocking prison terms. You know, paedophiles get eight months, eight years, whatever. Uh, parents who try and rescue their children from paedophile rings, alleged paedophile rings, get 18 years, like Sabine McNeil got, you know, Carl Bleach got 18 years, Sabine McNeil got nine, you know, reduced from 12. Let me just say the update on Sabine. It's been a year almost, like a year since next January, in a month's time, since she was given the green light to return to Germany. She's a Slav German. Um, and it's been uh, obstructed consistently by Steve Martin, originally detective constable, promoted to detective sergeant and promoted in the Freemasonic Lodge to Almoner. Maybe he's gone further up the ranks since then. But there's actually a legal uh, case been filed against him for maliciously withholding Sabine McNeil's passport. She was given the green light to return to Germany. She served, I think, almost four years, three and a half years of the nine years, and has been given leave to finish out her license term in her native country of Germany. But Steve Martin keeps refusing to return her passport, allegedly, according to reports. Um, so she was so convinced that everything was in place that against all her better judgment, she submitted to the jab, uh, the Moderna one, because there was no other way she could enter Germany, um, be repatriated without doing so. So she's had her number one Moderna against all her instincts and better judgment and research. And still, Steve Martin allegedly, withholds the passport. So the latest update I've got is that legal action is being mounted against him for uh, malfeasance in office and whatever else he could be prosecuted for, for his behavior since 2015 and probably before. Sorry, Steve Martin, Rupert speaks very highly of you. And he says, you told him you only joined the Masons to get on in the police force. And he, he kind of feels sorry for you and feels like you were good to him. Rupert and I stay in touch regularly, although he is severely traumatized by the price he paid to try and bring the truth of the Hampstead case to light. Um, four and a half months out of a nine month jail term he served in Wandsworth and uh, a year held you know, as a political prisoner in the UK with his passport com confiscated and no ability to earn. As simply an American citizen journalist and pretty well-known YouTuber in America who had won a prize with Alex Jones, yeah. But he'd won a prize for upcoming new YouTuber for his report on Obama's... Um, State of the Union address, but that's beside the point. He met and emailed with you a lot, Steve Martin. And he's like, oh, Angie, don't be too hard on him. Like his life's fallen apart since the Hampstead case. And he only joined the Masons to get on in the police. He told me that and, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, and trolls have said, oh, the poor man, he was, he was destined to be one of the top child sexual abuse detective interviewers in in the UK and all his chances have gone of that no sorry sorry Steve Martin you've gained loads of weight well I say it right you've gained loads of weight you've aged phenomenally since the Hampstead case and I wonder how you sleep at night I really do you still persisted in mounting court cases with Ricky Dim and Karen Irving against in my opinion, naive, brave, innocent, and possibly autistic or Asperger's genius people like Matt Taylor.
but you still keep rolling out to court, don't you, Steve Martin? But that's a that's a by the by. What was I making this video for? Oh yeah, I'm going to give you the latest update on the new. We've got Holly Gregg. Sorry, Sharon, it was a cover up. Then we've gone Hampstead. Sorry, it was not a hoax. Just look at a, um, a documentary maker from Hampstead who went and filmed the school after the story broke and, and filmed the tunnel between the school and Christchurch Hampstead being, being closed up, filmed it being met in a pub and threatened by a special branch. Death threatened if he persisted in whistleblowing about the Hampstead children's disclosures. We have the ITNJ, the, the Illuminati, Sasha Stone, Robert David Steele, blah, blah, bullshit thing uh, hosted in London for four days, where Special Branch paid another visit and said, we'll let you go ahead, you can disclose like Fiona Barnett, you can disclose John Wedger, you can disclose, um, you know, people from America, you can even disclose, disclose the banker from Holland. Um, but if you dare go near the Hampstead case, we'll shut you down. You know, if you want to know if there was truth in a case, analyze and observe the cover up. So that was another digression. So what I'm get, so this is the latest one, the Anne Cahill case. You know, I, I am on the fence. I am suspicious of Wilfred Wong. I am definitely suspicious of John Wedger. Um, I'm suspicious of the Jubilee Ministries involvement. I'm suspicious of Oasis Church in Anglesey involvement. I'm suspicious of uh, suspicious of Christine. Um, I think Janet Stevenson and her husband were sucked in, I think the mother, Anka Hill, was sucked in. I definitely believe the child, but it's like case after case after case and Karen Irving and her, her newest, you know, recruits or minions or blackmailed, whatever, run in her wake. Even Rosie Waterhouse congratulating and acknowledging Karen Irving on her retirement. It, it, there, there's, there's patterns here, people. You have to wake up and see. But for now, I'm going to document the latest communication. And the most important thing is it has an updated address for Anka Hill, the mother of the eight-year-old boy, now a little bit older, who disclosed to his mother, to his uh, childminder, to his social worker, and in two achieving best evidence interviews by the police, all of which were disallowed in the trial. And the end result is the mother has been sentenced to 15 years in jail and the child, my latest info from Anglesey is thank God, he appears to be still in foster care which may not be cult, but his father is, his accused father, like Ricky Dearman, is actively seeking custody. So let me just document this latest email. I, I, I speak German, but I do check it on translate just, just to be accurate. And I'd like to make contact with Katya um, and to know if she's connected to Florian in any way. I know Florian's mother was most closely in touch with Anka. Oh, come on. I'm doing share screen, why isn't any of this showing up? Wow. I may be getting interference. All right, let's go here. I'll wait for it. If not, I'll read it off here. See, I'm, 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 I'm giving away explosive stuff here, guys. <sighs> right, I can't seem to access 
I'll stop sharing and try again. If not, I'll read it off my phone, but this is a bit weird. That I can't, I, I've got it all up there. Share screen. I can give you the gist of what Florian said. Yeah, we seem to have a, we seem to have a freeze mode on my computer. But I'll, I'll translate the German for you. Right, I'll read it off my phone. Okay. So Florian says, thanks for your news. I'll try and get the questions answered in full regarding Anchor. Uh, if her leave to appeal was refused or, you know, request to appeal that anything like this length of sentence, the justification for sentence, no, uh, to, uh, from my research, all appeal, uh, you know, leave to appeal requests by the six people jailed for the Anglesey rescue, stroke, abduction, whatever, have been turned down. He said, I don't personally know the status of her appeal. Um, I'll be able to ask my mother and get full, more details from her. Uh, yes, please give out the address for Anka. I think it will very much encourage her. It'll do her good. Um, she's been brought to yet another prison. And this is the, the base. Even though my computer's frozen, this is the basis of why I'm doing this. So it's HMP New Hall. Now he's put HMP forward slash YOI. I don't know why that is there. But anyway, New Hall, Dialwood, Flockton, F L O C K T O N, Wakefield, West Yorkshire, W F 4 4 X X. Sadly, I don't have her prison number. If in the moon, if get ended ended right we are all very happy and appreciative that so many people are following this story please machen sie weiter das ist auch anker's wunsch please know also that that is anker's desire and then he says do you know the author of the Carvath WordPress blog. I don't know Richard Carvath, but I have featured a lot of his work and I'll continue to do so. Herbert Field von Anker Berichtet. Yeah, he's reporting a lot on the Anker case. Uh, my mother thinks that man would also know much of the unfolding story. Do you know him? Perhaps. Uh, vielleicht kannst du Ihnen mehr Details von der Anhörung geben. Perhaps he's got more details. Haben Sie alle Dokumente von mir bekommen? No, noch nicht. Noch nicht. Hör mal, uh, Florin. Wenn Sie haben alles die anderen Dokumente, Dokumente uh, bitte send them to me. With Freundlich and Grüß and Florian. Right, that's that's the main thrust of this, this uh, broadcast. And as I say, Andy and I are going to connect sometime today, see if I've got an update from Andy, and just discuss this on a live. But the biggest part is there's, there's the prison. Now, I've been told there's another lady, Katya, cousin of Ankers, in communication and um, she said that uh, anchor's not allowed mail all sorts of human rights being breached in prison another prison she may be on the ghost train within the prison system um but uh, i think it's worth writing and for those in the uk maybe even a peaceful vigil, protest, whatever, outside the prison, just to let the authorities know you ain't putting this mother on the ghost train. We are going to track what you are doing. That's it. The next should be alive with Andy Devine. God bless people.
check the links.